So today we're going to discuss the MSA Solaris and how to calibrate the instrument. What you need is your gas monitor. You'll need a cylinder of calibration gas for blend mixture. And what, you, what we have in this cylinder is we have hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, methane, and oxygen, and a balanced nitrogen. Concentrations are 20 ppm hydrogen sulfide, 60 ppm carbon monoxide, a 29% LEL um, methane in the cylinder, which is equivalent to 58% LEL pentane, and a 15% oxygen. MSA does require that you use a pentane simulant, so that way the gas is equivalent to um, the wide array of different combustible gases this will detect. This will be the closest to all of them. And by using methane, it, it loses the ability to detect methane first. Um, so as you expose it to methane, if you lose the ability to detect methane first, you know you have a problem initially with your sensor, um, and you can address it at that time. And then you need a, a regulator to dispense out about a half a liter per minute uh, to bring the gas to the unit. Your Tigon tubing to, to bring up the gas to the instrument and your Cal adapter that you attach. So at this point, what I'm going to do is turn the instrument on. On the side, there's a power button, a page button, and a reset button. You press and hold the power button for a few seconds. It'll beep at you. Turn on. It's going to go through a warm-up mode. Give you the version, the low, the low alarm points, high alarm points. your short-term exposure limit settings, uh, time-weighted average. Uh, this is the cal gas that's set, and you want to ensure that this is what was in the cylinder we just discussed. The time, current time, the current date, the last calibration date, And it's going to count down from 23 seconds. It's going to be sending signals to the sensors, making sure that there's uh, no problem with that, that they're not failed, and that everything is working correctly within the instrument. Once this is complete, what we're going to do is a fresh air zero. You want to show the sensors what the baseline zero is so it knows what to uh, verify it against, and you want to make sure that it has a zero point and a reference point. So it says zero. You can hit enter. And it says zero on there. Zero passed. It will tell you at this point if it did fail. If it failed, you may have to send the unit in for service, uh, as the sensors may need to be replaced. And at the top, you'll see it says pentane. Um, that's the calibration gas uh, that the combustible sensor is calibrated to, and that's why we're using a pentane simulant. So at this point, to get into the calibration mode, you press and hold your reset button. And it'll say zero, and you can hit your uh, reset button to go past that. And I'll say span cal. You hit enter, and you connect your regulator or your uh, calibration adapter with the top and the arrow showing towards the top of the instrument. Connect your tubing. Turn on your gas. You'll start to see your readings change and deflect. And at this point, you want to wait until these readings stabilize um, before making any kind of adjustment. This is an auto calibration adjustment, since you have the preset values in there. And it goes for 90 seconds before it senses and makes sure that these sensors are stable and has enough span range left on the sensors to adjust to what you preset the instrument to uh, adjust to, your CalGAS values. So we wait about 90 seconds. And as you can tell, it's stabilizing now at 58% LEL, which is exactly what it should be. 14.6% oxygen, which you're reading as should be 15. Uh, 60 ppm CO, which is exactly as it should be, and 20 ppm H2S, which is exactly as it should be. So we're just waiting for the instrument to reach its 90 seconds, detect that, and then pass it. If for some reason you see that these are way off, uh, more than likely the instrument's going to fail. And it could be either a d dirty filter that has to be replaced because the gas is not penetrating to the sensor, or possibly a bad sensor, or bad calibration gas. Hydrogen sulfide will last about 
12 months inside of a cylinder before it degrades. This point says span pass, it's waiting. And you can go ahead and remove your gas. And due to the residual gas that will be present for a small period of time, it may kick over into an alarm condition before it completely comes down to zero. If that were to happen, um, it auto latches the alarm. So when it goes into alarm condition, it stays in alarm condition until you address it and say, yes, I know it's been there. And you hit the reset button on the side to reset the alarm. So at this point, it's back to just about 000 and 20.9, which is back to our normal atmosphere. And the instrument is ready to use.